In this video, I'm going to show us how to get started in our classroom layout, our classroom floor plan. The first thing that I want to do is I want to go to my SketchUp file. So across the top here somewhere, I have a SketchUp file with my guy standing. Um, the one I can tell if it's right, because I have a billion tabs opened up, is that it's named for me. I can check that right now as far as it says 3, my last 5, followed by my first 5, and my middle initial. Classroom layout is our project name. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to either use my selection tool or my eraser tool to get rid of the little guy in the model. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to select him, and I'm going to hit delete. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tape measure to set up guidelines so that I can use my rectangle tool to just click in two corners in, in the intersections to make it. So, the first thing, tape measure tool exists down here. If you've changed it to your dimension tool, that's the way that it, it's going to appear for you um, at the moment, so you have to change it back to our tape measure. A reminder, the way our tape measure works is we're going to click with our actual hook of our tape measure on the green axis first. We're going to go to the total distance down of this, um, and you can either click or you can click and drag and release. Either way works. Now, when I get the other line down there, I'm going to enter data. And that one is 66 feet 8 inches. Remember, we don't need to enter the 8 inches mark. We can just put 8 and then hit enter. And it's going to move my line to the appropriate spot. Same thing from the red axis. If I click and click again, and that sliding up in that direction, and now entering the data of 26 feet, 8 inches, 26 feet, 8, enter. I'm going to zoom in so I have that rectangle as my piece. Now, lastly, I have two more sets, or sorry, three more sets of data I'm going to put in for guidelines. And that is how far is that kick out on my north wall going up from my existing line. So I'm going to click on this guideline. Slide up, that's going to be 2 feet, 8 inches, enter. And then from my green axis over, which is the northwest wall corner, where does that kick out happen? It is 6 foot 8 into our piece. So 6 foot, 8 inches, enter. And then from the back of our wall, from this back guideline representing the eastern wall, clicking on that with the hook, sliding in 11 foot 4 inches. Now, it looks like I just have a lot of guidelines created on my sheet, which I do have quite a few. We have one, two, three going across and, and two going up and down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and do a, a rectangle. All right, so rectangle tool. If I didn't want to do guidelines, I can make rectangles the same way I just did the guidelines. But this makes it a little easier to click. Next thing is, I click on the origin. I click on the far right, second line from the down intersection. All right? The one representing my northeastern corner. And I create that rectangle. Next one I do is I click on the intersection that's above my last rectangle I made. And I click on the intersection that happens over here on the top of that rectangle. And I can use my eraser tool to delete this line. Now, one more thing I want to do just before I get to my next video is I want to make sure these are all correct. So I'm going to check my work with what starts underneath the tape measure, the thing called the dimension tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the edges and then move out and it will pull out that dimension. One thing I'm noticing is my dimension looks similar to the way an architectural drawing would be, but I want it to look a little bit more closely. And we don't usually have these extension and dimension lines. So I'm going to go over to... Actually, I'll do that later. Actually, what can we do right now? As far as in our text, if we go to here in our model info text, there is... A slash. That's going to be the endpoint line that we're using. 
update all dimensions, and notice how it updated my dimension over there. Putting that back so it's not out in the way. And now I'm going to do is just pull the rest of my dimensions. So this dimension, 6, 8. This dimension, 48, 8. My back wall dimension, 11, 4. My kick out dimension, and everyone's going to zoom in so I don't just get the midpoint, but I want to click on the, the actual line there, 2 foot 8, and then underneath, one more time, the full length of that 66 8. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching.